Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So we've got to another chat time today. Today I want to talk about the Skydio 2. So some time ago, about a year ago, they released a Skydio 1, which was, if you like, a glorified selfie drone. You controlled it from your phone, but it had this immense obstacle avoidance, 16 minute flight time, it was quite noisy and it was large and cumbersome. And it biggest problem was it was $2,500 to sink on release. Needless to say, I haven't seen that many of them about. But they've just announced the Skydio 2, which is a total game changer. So instead of having this big massive drone, they've now got it quite compact. There's a video going to play in the top corner. They've got it compact. It's got 23 minutes flight time. It's got a 4K 60 frames per second camera. Unlike the first one, you can take still shots f directly from the app. On the first one, you had to take them out of your video once you're done, which was a bit of another downer. They've now got round that and they've now got 13 stops so you can take pictures to your heart's content. And the biggest change is they can now fly it with a controller. The first one you couldn't, it was phone operated only and it was just a glorified follow me drone and it to the point, I want to fly a drone, I want to be able to take cinematic movies with it. So they've now released a control with a controller. The controller is going to be another hundred and fifty pounds. The drone is going to be nine hundred and ninety nine dollars, and then it's a hundred and fifty for the controller. So you can either have a controller or a thing called a beacon. The beacon looks like a wand, and you point it at it and fly it with a little LCD display on. Again, I think you see it in the video. And they're the two options. Both of them are going to be hundred and fifty dollars each. The remote might look like a Parrot and AFI controller because that's exactly what it is. They must have licensed it from Parrot. Now, will your Parrot and AFI controller work with it? That I would not know. They'd have to have the same frequency and the chances of that being a slim. But it is a Parrot and AFI controller and that's going to give it this quote two and a half mile range. Whether that it can do that or not, I don't know. The first one only has 600 feet, so it's a massive increase. And the drone looks great. It looks really nice. It looks compact. And the images you see from the camera are sharp pin sharp. Now is that just advertising blur? Who knows? We won't know until someone actually gets a hand on it and I see a review that isn't just done by the company. But it does look good. Now at the time of making this video you can pre-order it or reserve one actually for a hundred dollars. So if you reserve one it's a hundred dollars down and then you pay the rest on delivery. Now at the when I make this video you can only do that in the United States or Canada. When I've been on their website to have a look today that's the only place you can get it from. You cannot get that in the UK as we stand. Now whether that will change much after launch, I don't know. The Altel Evo never did. It never becomes something you could easily buy in the UK. So it's another big advance. Someone else is challenging DJI and that's what we need. We need more high-end challenges. It's all right with the people at the lower end like the Femis and stuff coming out, but they're not really going to hurt DJI and push them to that next level. This probably will do, hopefully anyway. The only thing I can see an issue with is a 23-minute flight time to some people. Personally, it wouldn't bother me, but I know a lot of people like the 30 minutes. And the other thing I can't see is the price on spare batteries at the minute. But I'd imagine they're going to be released at launch. So just a quick one today. I just wanted to go through that with you. I'm quite excited about it. Another new drone to the market. Have a fantastic day. and Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.